In this video, we will look at three examples of multiplying whole numbers to solve applications. In the first example, Vanessa brought eight packs of hot dogs to a family reunion. Each pack has 12 hot dogs. How many hot dogs did Vanessa bring? We can model this situation by letting these eight rectangles represent the eight packages of hot dogs. And because each package contains 12 hot dogs, we can place a 12 in each rectangle or each package of hot dogs. To determine the number of hot dogs Vanessa brought, notice how we have eight copies of 12 or eight groups of 12 hot dogs, which means to determine the total number of hot dogs, we need to determine eight times 12 or the product of eight and 12. Eight times 12 is equal to 96. If we need to, we can determine this product by hand when doing it by hand though, we would probably use the commutative property of multiplication and write 8 times 12 as 12 times 8. 2 times 8 is equal to 16. Record the 6. Perform an exchange with the 1. 8 times 1 is 8 plus 1 is 9, giving us a product of 96. Vanessa brought 96 hot dogs. For the second example, a college choir has twice as many women as men. There are 18 men in the choir. How many women are in the choir? We can model this situation by letting this rectangle represent all of the men in the choir. And because there are twice as many women in the choir, there needs to be twice as many rectangles or two times as many rectangles to represent the number of women in the choir as we see here. From here, because there are 18 men in the choir, there would be 18 men here. Because there are twice as many women, there would be 18 women here as well as here. The number of women in the choir is equal to two groups of 18 or two copies of 18, which can be written as two times 18 or the product of two and 18. Two times 18 is equal to 36. There are 36 women in the choir. Of course, we could have also found the number of women by determining 18 plus 18, which is equivalent to two times 18. There are 36 women in the choir. For our last example, Renee's driveway is a rectangle 45 feet long by 20 feet wide. What is the area of the driveway? The area of a rectangle is equal to length times width. Looking at this small rectangle here, the dimensions are two meters by three meters we normally let the length be the longer side and the width be the shorter side. The area is equal to the number of square meters that fits inside this two meter by three meter rectangle, which we can see is six square meters, which we can determine by multiplying three and two. So for Renee's driveway, the area is equal to length times width, which equals 45 feet times 20 feet. And because this is the area, the units will be square feet. 45 times 20 is equal to 900. The area of the driveway is 900 square feet. Well, let's also find this product by hand. We have 45 times 20. Because we are multiplying by a multiple of 10, we will have a zero in the ones place value. And now we multiply by two. Two times five is 10. Record the zero, perform an exchange with the one. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9, giving us a product of 900. Verifying Renee's driveway has an area of 900 square feet. I hope you found this helpful.